So if you look at the CT core parameters or the nameplate of the CT, you will see all this information. And this could be really overwhelming for somebody who is looking at it for the first time or somebody who do not know which parameter is linked with the which core. But you need not to worry because by the end of this video, you will have a clear idea about which parameter is associated with the which core of the current transformer. We will simply go through the representation of uh, the different core parameters of a current transformer. Please note, this video will not be explaining the meaning of different parameters, but it will be explaining how it is represented and how you can read it. So make sure you watch the video till the end. So let us first start with the PS core. So first column, what you can see it represents the number of cores. Now it can have two, three, four, five or six cores that is depend upon the requirement. It will be uh, labeled like that. The next column that you can see is the accuracy class. Now here you can see it is mentioned as PS. Now PS stands for special protection. Right. We have already discussed in one of the videos of current transformer that the current transformer will have two different types of accuracy. One is protection and another one is metering. So the PS class represents the protection core of accuracy. Right. Understood. So this is PS class, which is generally used for differential protection. Clear. The next column indicates the current ratio. Now, this is important to understand how it is represented. Now, this column indicates two types of current. One is the primary current and second is the secondary current. So whatever you can see uh, after this, before the slash is the primary current PC, right? So here you can see it is mentioned as 2000-1000. That means the primary of the current transformer can have two different ratios, two different taps. One is for 2000 ampere, another one is 1000 ampere, right? So that is whatever is mentioned before the slash represents the primary current. Okay, clear. The next, whatever is represented after the slash represents the secondary current of the current transformer. So in this example, it is mentioned as one ampere, right? Clear. The before the slash, it is primary current. After the slash, it is the secondary current. And that's how you have to read it. Now here in this example, by the way, all the parameters that you see here are just taken only for the example and study purpose, right? Just keep that in mind. So whatever ratios you can see here are the two ratios, but it is not necessary that the current transformer will have only two ratios. There can be one ratio, maybe it will be just 1000 ampere or maybe it will be a two core ratio like what you can see on your screen or it can be a three core uh, three ratios as well. So 2000, 1000 and maybe 500 ampere as well, right? And then there is a secondary current which is after the slash. Now this can be one ampere or this can be five ampere. But definitely the focus or the reference is towards the one ampere current. We also have a dedicated playlist on current transformer. If you're looking for a detailed explanation on each of the topic, then definitely you can go and check that out. Now, the next column that you see is the secondary terminals. Of course, since this CT is coming with the two different uh, ratio option, 2000 and 1000, in order to get that ratios, you need to connect your secondary at a specific terminal. So for example, if you want to have a 1000 ampere ratio, then you need to connect your terminals across 1S1 and 1S2 terminals, right? Similarly, for 2000 ampere, you need to connect across 1S1 and 1S3. Do not worry, I'll explain you what is this. So let's say this is my primary of the current transformer. Okay. And this is the secondary winding. Now there will be tappings provided. So let's say this is 1S1 and this is 1S2. Uh, sorry, 1S3. Now if you connect your terminals across this, then you will get the ratio of 2000 ampere. Okay, clear. And there will be a tapping in between provided as well. Now, if you connect between these two terminals, so 1S1 and 1S2, then you will get 1000 ampere as the ratio. And this particular column indicates that where you should be connecting your terminals in order to get the correct ratio that you want. This is really important. Uh, 
you need to take care of the terminals that you are connecting uh, while selecting the different ratios in the current transformer of course if it would have been only a single ratio current transformer then this column can be skipped right but since this is a multi core uh, current transformer you see there are uh, different terminals provided for the connections right that is secondary terminals the next column indicates the vk now vk stands for knee point voltage right now knee point voltage is specific to the ps core uh, current transformer it is not applicable for current uh, for other protection and metering cores so here you have to take in mind that you see there are two values mentioned here again 2000 and 1000 volts so again since this is a multi ratio current transformer the knee point voltage is specified for each of the ratio so this 2000 is for the first ratio that is 2000 and 1000 is for the second ratio that is again the 1000 ampere so it will not happen like that okay 1000 ampere is mentioned here and that is linked with the second ratio that is 1000 uh, so the first ratio that is 2000 so you have to make sure that if your first ratio is 2000 then the first value in the knee point voltage is related to that only and the second value is related to the second ratio second primary current right that is how it is represented so that is knee point voltage the next column is the rct that is the secondary resistance now of course the current transformer secondary winding will have some resistance and this particular column indicates that resistance again uh, 10 ohms is for 2000 ratio and 5 ohms is for 1000 ratio remember that right so that is the secondary resistance which is represented by rct clear the next column indicates the im now im is what im is magnetizing current of the ps core now there are different ways to represent it what you can see is im at the rate vk which means the values that is mentioned here is applicable at this particular vk so 50 milliampere is applicable for 2000 vk and 25 is applicable at 1000 vk right but there are different ways to represent it there can be im at the rate vk by 2 or there can be im at the rate vk by 4 right so you have to make sure that uh, you have to check at which vk it is represented is it vk or vk by 2 or vk by 4 right that is magnetizing current again it is linked with the primary ratio so 50 is applicable at 2000 and 25 is applicable at 1000 right the next columns that is burdens alf and isf are not applicable for ps class and the previous parameters that we saw vk rct and im are only applicable when there is a ps core right remember so that is the uh, that is how you can read that is how you you can understand the different parameters given for the ps core by the way if you have an interest in dwelling deeper into the world of electrical switch gear we highly recommend a visit to switchgearcontent.com this isn't a sponsored endorsement rather it's a personal recommendation mr ali has done an exceptional job in compiling an extensive knowledge base on electrical switchgear and we believe it's worth sharing with all of you switchgearcontent.com provides comprehensive information on various aspects of switchgear including dc switchgear high voltage and medium voltage ac switchgear switch gear testing automation and much more it truly serves as an invaluable source of knowledge in this field moreover you can also engage with the switch gear community through their groups on different platforms such as linkedin whatsapp or telegram it's a fantastic opportunity to stay updated and connect with the fellow enthusiasts we assure you there is a wealth of information to explore on switch gear content and we encourage you to check it out you will find the link in the video description right so let us now talk about the second core that we have it which is the 5p core again the first column indicates the core number second indicates the uh, accuracy class now we have already talked about what is 5p what is 10p class i have a dedicated video on that i'll provide link for the complete playlist on current transformer down in the description you can go and check it out after this 
video. So 5P is again a protection class uh, which is generally used for distance protection. Again it has two ratios 2000 and 1000 and to connect uh, connection of the secondary terminal is given in the next column. VK, RCT and IM are not applicable for 5P class. As I mentioned it is only applicable for PS class. So these three columns will not be there for uh, 5P core. The next column is the burden which is mentioned as 20VA-10VA. So 20VA is applicable for 2000 and 10VA is applicable for 10,000. This simply means how much load you can connect to the secondary of this particular core. So let's say if you're using a 2000 ampere tap and then there you can connect VA burden up to 20VA. So that will include your connecting wires and the relay that you are connecting the burden of that is included into that. Now if it goes beyond 20 VA then the accuracy of 5P uh, is not guaranteed. The accuracy will be compromised, right? So that is the VA burden. The next is ALF that is accuracy limit factor. This is mentioned as 20. Now if you are interested to know about what is accuracy limit factor, again there is a video dedicated on that. Link is in the description. ISF is what that we will see in the next uh, uh, core details which will talk about the metering core. Now the third core that we have in the current transformer is the metering core. So it's the third core number. The class is 0.2. Now there are different class. There is 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0.2s. These are the different classes. Again it has the same ratios. This is how you can connect. Uh, again VK, RCT and IM are not applicable for metering. Burden is applicable. So again 15 and 5 VA is given. So 15 is applicable for 2000 and 5 is applicable for 1000. Similarly ALF is not applicable. ALF is again particular to the 5 peak class. For metering what do we have is ISF that is instrument safety factor and that is mentioned as less than 5. Now this is important to protect your instrument that you are connecting across the uh, metering core of the current transformer right so that is isf these are all the parameters that you will see in the nameplate of a current transformer or in the core details of a current transformer as i said this is a little bit overwhelming if you are looking at this for the first time but i hope uh, this explanation this video has helped you in understanding how the parameters are represented again just to quickly summarize for special protection that is PS, VK, RCT and IM are specific uh, parameters that you will find in this particular core. These parameters will not be there for balance cores like 5P or metering cores. Burden ALF is again there for 5P core uh, and for point 0.2 we have a special parameter that is ISF instrument safety factor. Right. So that is all the parameters that is how you read it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did then do comment helpful if you found this video helpful and do like the video that will help me understand that this type of content is helping and I'll focus more on creating such type of content right that's all for this video guys I'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning